BackstageAccess.com. We are here with Canada's own Billy Talent. The guys want to say hello? Hello, I'm Ben. <laughs> How you doing? My name's Aaron. Hey, I'm, I'm Ian. Hello, I'm John. Um, you guys just completed your first show a little while ago. Pretty much just got off stage. How was the experience? It was great. I thought the, the, the fans were good and people were... It's a beautiful sunny day and everyone was out and you could tell I think people have been having a couple beverages throughout the day. So um, a couple hundred and fifty. Yeah, but no, it was good. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, we haven't played a show in a couple of weeks, so it was nice to get up there and rock. Well, you guys are headlining the Canadian version of Rock on the Range. So, what can the fans expect at that show? Uh, well, this another you know, there's another good lineup uh, up in Canada. There's going to be Rise Against and Rancid. So we're really excited to play with a lot of friends we've known for a while. Can you tell us about the uh, the first initial Rock on the Range show? Is there anything going to be different from like the six Rock on the Range? I don't know. We'll play longer. Yeah, I guess we'll be playing longer. <laughs> we'll, right. play longer. we'll be playing at nighttime. Yeah, nighttime. We're going to be yeah longer set. We're headlining, we and fun? it's Winnipeg, Rock City. Right. You guys are from Toronto, correct? Yes. All right. So um, obviously, so we're, uh, we're big Sabers fans. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you guys are releasing, obviously, Billy Talent 3. That's why you guys are here promoting. Um, do we have a date yet for that release? Uh, July, 14th. July 14th. 14th. July 14th, yeah. Let's go with that date. Let's go with that. Okay, what can we, the fans expect uh, maybe from this release that, you know, you guys haven't put on your, you know, your initial releases? Uh, well, um, one big thing is that we got Brendan O'Brien to produce it, who's done some pretty spectacular records throughout his career in life, and uh, so I think it finally, um, it sounds really big and really fat, and I think uh, the songs are the best ones that we've uh, kind of come up with over our 15 years as a band, so it's definitely the best piece of work yet. You guys uh, touched on, I mean, uh, did you guys play any new material in your set tonight? Yes, we played one song. Played a song called Devil on My Shoulder, okay. and it went over really well. Right. It's going to be first track on our new album. Okay, speaking about tracks, uh, you guys already shot for Rusted, for Narain, and uh, legendary director Wayne Isham. I mean, how was that experience? Were you guys blown away by that? Yeah, he was great. We, 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 we had a great little idea to create this neat piece in the video, and we were concerned about it when it was drawn up, and then we got there in this... I don't, it was this merry-go-round made out of junk, and it just turned out pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, it's cool. It looked awesome. We got to shoot it in the uh, scrap yard, like a wrecking yard, a metal wrecking yard. So it was a lot of, a lot of fun background kind of stuff going on. It was pretty neat. So uh, when's that going to be, like, on uh, VH1, Much Music, MySpace, whatever? Um, I, I'm not too sure when it's going to be out, but uh, I know in Canada it's coming out. It's coming out this week in Canada, so May, you know, May 15th, 16th. But uh, in America, I'm not sure when it's going to be coming out. Probably after, right after our record gets released. Okay. You guys played the Coachella Festival um, last month, and um, there were some legendary performers, including Paul McCartney. Did you guys get to uh, rub wings with Mr. Wings himself? <laughs> he actually came up and played a song with us, which is kind of cool. So that was a, uh, that was <laughs> some Obladi something or other. You know. uh, Actually, me and John uh, went to see Paul McCartney the night before. It was pretty awesome. He played a lot of Wings material and a lot of Beatles songs. It was pretty great. So how was your experience playing Coachella? Coachella was fun. It was uh, it was pretty wild, like a dream come true. We were the first band on on uh, the day we played, so it was kind of a kind of a cup of coffee for everybody to okay. use Ben's quote. But it was it was it was pretty rad. I don't know how we fit into everything, but somehow we did. Perfectly in America, and that was one of the next questions I had. You guys are huge in Canada. How are we going to break you guys over here in the U.S.? Uh, I think it's just a classic case of getting in front of as many people as we can, and I think uh, having the a new record and uh, you know by great bands like Rise Against taking us out and introducing us to their fans, uh, which they've done already once before, is you know we're just going to keep playing, and whoever comes comes. Hopefully, uh, more will follow. You guys are from Toronto, Ontario, you know, the little jab with the Sabres, me, be, me being from Buffalo, but uh, what are your favorite places to play and why you guys are in Toronto? Places to play in Toronto? Yeah, 
I think the the dream come true show for us all was playing the Air Canada Centre, which is where the the, the uh, Leafs play, and we got to headline that uh, uh, on our last record, and that was a dream come true because we've played every small club in and around that city for a long, long time. Well, wh wh going to like a club show, and you guys obviously, you know, played a lot of clubs in Toronto, you know, coming from a band Toronto and slaving through, you know, the smaller clubs, but like which smaller one was like really like, you know, a, a home feel for you guys that you guys really enjoy playing? I think always the, the legendary Horseshoe Tavern. That's, that's the place where so many legends have played from the Rolling Stones to Rush, uh, Tragically Hip, and and uh, so we always try to get back there and play like a little secret show every right. now and then. And the room just sounds amazing. There's something to be said for a packed show at the Opera House, which is pretty awesome. Or the Phoenix, like those little like, 600, 1,000 seaters are just great. Uh, after the tour with Rise Against, what can we expect from the band uh, in 2009? Uh, we're going to go to Australia and Japan and New Zealand, and then I think we're going to go back to Europe in September, and then do the States in October, and then do Canada in uh, the New Year. Lots of touring, pretty I much. Mean, yeah, yeah. Touring is on the, on the horizon. Uh, all those countries and you know and you guys are here uh, you know obviously promoting Billy Talent 3 is coming out July 14th correct? July 14th. July 14th so pick it up and uh, we want to thank the guys from Billy Talent stopping by BackstageAccess.com check them out when they come to a city near you. And now show us a thing or two.